Okay, uh, this is the campaign number four. Uh, Posting again, eight two one in Ottawa area, Ottawa Valley, uh, twelve fourteen, uh, twelve twenty six. Twelve twenty-two. So this is an even. Huh. Okay. Sorry about that. On the right time now. Move it off. Now I'm reading uh, Daniel uh, 6. Mm. It is pleased Darius who sat over the kingdom and a hundred and twenty princes, which should be over the whole kingdom, and over these three presidents, of whom Daniel was first, that the princes might give accounts unto them, and the king should have no damage. Then this Daniel was preferred above the presidents and princes, because an excellent spirit was in him, and the king thought to set him over the whole realm. Then the presidents and princes sought to find occasion against Daniel concerning the kingdom, but they could find none occasion nor fault for, um, for a much as he was faithful. Now, neither was there any error or fault found in him. Then said these men, We shall not find any occasion against this Daniel, except we find it against him concerning the law of his God. These presidents and princes assembled together to the king, and said, Thus unto him, King Darius, rule forever. And the presidents of the kingdom, and governors, and the princes, the counselors, and the captains have consulted together to establish a royal statute, and to make him a firm decree that whatsoever shall ask a petition of any god or man for thirty days, save of the O King, he shall be cast into the den of lions. Daniel 6 8. Now, O King, establish the decree and sign the writing that it be not changed according to the law of Medius and Persian, Persians, which after it not. Wherefore, King Darius signed the writing of and the decree. Now, when Daniel knew that the writing was signed, he went unto his house, and his windows being open, his chamber towards Jerusalem, he kneeled on his knees three times a day, and prayed, and gave thanks before his God, as he did for a 
four times. These, then these men assembled and found Daniel praying and making supplication before his God. Then they came near and spake before the king concerning the king's decree. How shall not sign the decree that every man shall ask a petition of any god or man within thirty days, save thee, O king, shall be cast into the den of lions? O king, shall be cast into the den of lions? The king answered and said, The thing is true according to the law of Moses and Persians, which alter not. Then they then answered they and said before the king, But Daniel, which is the children of the captivity of Judea, regardeth not thee, O king, nor the decree that thou hast signed, but make it its petition three times a day. Then the king, when he heard these words, was sore the priest with himself, and set his heart on Daniel to deliver him, and he labored till the going down of the sun to deliver him. Then these men assembled unto the king, and said unto the king, Know, O king, that the law of Medias and Persians is that no decree, no statute, which the king established may be changed. Then the king commanded, and they brought Daniel and cast him into the den of lions. Now the king spake and said unto Daniel, Thy God, whom thou servest continually, he will deliver thee. And a stone was brought, and laid upon the mouth of the den, and the king sealed it with his own signet, and with signet of his lords, that the purpose might not be changed. Daniel. Then the king went to his place, palace, and passed the night fasting. Neither were instruments of music brought for him, and his sleep went from him. Then the king arose very early in the morning, and went into haste, and went to the den of lions. And when he came into the den, he cried with a loud and unfold voice unto Daniel. And the king spake and said to Daniel, O Daniel, servant of the living God, is thy God, whom thou servest continually, able to deliver thee from the lions? Daniel 6.1 Then said Daniel unto the king, O king, live forever. My God hath sent his angel, and hath shut the lion's mouths, that they have not hurt me, for so much as before him is an innocent was found in me, and also before thee, O king, I have done no harm. Then was the king exceedingly glad for him, and commanded that they should take Daniel out of the den. So Daniel was taken up out of the den, and no manner of hurt was found upon him, because he believed in his God. And the king commanded that they brought those men which had accused Daniel, and they cast them into the den of lions them, their children, and their wives, and the lions had the mastery of them, and break all their bones in pieces, while ever they came at the 
bottom of the drum. Then Darius wrote unto all people, nations, and languages that dwell all the earth, peace be multiplied unto you. I make a decree that in every dominion of my kingdom men tremble and fear before the God of Daniel, for he is the living God and steadfast forever, and his kingdom, that which shall be not destroyed, and his dominion, dominion shall be even unto the end. He delivereth and rescues, and he worketh signs and wonders in heaven and in earth. Who hath delivered Daniel from the power of the lions? So this Daniel prospered in the reign of Darius and in the reign of Cyrus the Persian.